Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be doing a super easy, fast, I need to look good and party ready type of a talk through tutorial. This is going to be how I get ready fast if I have a last minute invite and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have no makeup on, but I really wanna look like I'm not just doing the no makeup makeup thing and I actually put some effort into my look, but I might not have time. So we are gonna hop right in and start with concealer. I am taking a concealer from the Balm and this is in the shade Light and I'm taking a dampened beauty blender to show you guys the difference in size between a beauty blender when it is damp versus dry. Here you go. It's like mama beauty blender is the dampened one and the baby is like with no water added whatsoever. I prefer using these damp and they're just really quick. So I'm grabbing my concealer and I'm going to go underneath my eye. I'm gonna focus on that inner corner where I have a lot of darkness. And this literally takes just a couple of seconds. We're not being too precise with our look. We're gonna kind of skip some of the details and just get the job done. Okay, so I'm concealed. And this is the next trick that I like to do when I'm in a super rush. I like to use a powder foundation. So I'm gonna be taking one from Jane Iredell. They do have these separately, but I have the palette already, so I figured let's just crack into here. This is a great way to get a nice amount of coverage without taking a ton of time. You're not messing around with any liquids. I'm loading up my brush. Now you could use a kabuki brush. You could use one like this. You could use a powder brush. It really depends on how heavy you want the coverage. I'm going for a little bit heavier coverage because let's face it, I'm a makeup girl and that's just typically what I want. But I'm just going in circular motions. You can see this is actually giving me coverage. I'm not gonna get up on the concealer so much, but I'm just gonna go around the face in circular motions. All right, so that was really quick. It's really natural. It just evened everything out and mineral foundations tend to give you kind of a creamy look to the skin, which I really love. So now to finish the face, we are gonna go into this little gem right here from Benefit. I like working with palettes that have everything in them when I am kind of in a rush. So I'm grabbing this and I'm literally just gonna grab a little bit of the blush. I'm gonna mix a few of them together, the Rockateur and the Dandelion. And I am just gonna go on the apples of the cheek and rosy things up. Now, if you're in a crazy hurry, don't even bother with switching your brush. Just grab your bronzer. This is a matte one from Benefit. And I'm not gonna contour. I am just focusing this kind of on the perimeter. I'm gonna start on the high points of the cheek and then move up to the forehead so that I don't have so much product on my brush. This area up here tends to be the area that can get a little bit muddy if you go straight in with too much product. And because we're using the same brush, we're just gonna make sure that we start on the back of the cheek. The complexion is looking great. So we are going to move on to filling in our brows. And I'm gonna take Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up really quickly. Normally I use like three different products to fill in my brows and I really spend a lot of time here. Now, if you have an extra couple of minutes, feel free to do that. But if you're in a rush, just get some shape going in there. Brush the color through. and repeat on the other side. All right, so my brows are filled in and we are actually gonna move on to doing the lips before we go to eyes, just so you guys can see how a bold lipstick can really pull everything together, where if you had to jet out the door, you could grab your mascara and put it on when you get to your destination and really feel pulled together. So basically what we're doing is working on the face, making sure our brows are looking good, and then putting on a bold lipstick. So I'm gonna be using my LOC Wildest Dreams. This is the perfect holiday red. It is matte, it is not drying, it is creamy, long wearing. It is not completely transfer proof, but it is close. So you're not gonna take a sip of your drink wherever you are at your holiday party and have like creamy red lipstick sliding everywhere, possibly getting on your teeth. So this is a really nice foolproof lipstick. All right, so I'm going to start by lining my lips.
And this lipstick is so easy to apply. It's really creamy. You saw that I kind of outline the lip as if it's a lip pencil, smack my lips together, and it almost does a nice job of filling things in for you. This is super pigmented. I have put this on in the back of a cab in New York City, which is dangerous. It could have been like on my face, but it's that simple and that easy to apply. All right, so I'm gonna take my hair down and show you guys, like even with no eye makeup on at all, so long as brows, lips, and the skin is evened out, you really can look pulled together and not like you just rolled out of bed. You will fool people that you spent a ton of time. And I think this is a really chic look too. So to finish the look off, we are gonna do just a couple of things on the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit. This is gonna be so super easy. You will be blown away. We are just taking a one and done shadow stick from LOC in Impress Me, my favorite shade of the bunch. Da 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 the easiest makeup in the universe. I am just swiping this all over my lid, concentrating the color from inner corner to outer corner, not getting in the crease, but all the way up to the crease. I like to work one eye at a time, and I am just going to pat the edges a little bit up into the crease, keeping the color really concentrated at the lash line, and just smudging things out and together and that's pretty much it this just adds a nice shine enhances your eye gives you a very sophisticated chic one tone look and the nice thing about this is you don't need a primer it's not going to crease on you it's waterproof these are cruelty free ps really happy about that with my collaboration on this line and i just think this is so pretty and anyone can do this. You could have never done makeup before in your life and you can do this. I'm just patting those edges. And that's literally it. We are going to apply some mascara and I'm gonna grab the They Are Real Mascara from this kit from Benefit. I'm loving this kit so much, it's so cute. I normally prefer the Roller Lash from Benefit if I have to pick my favorite mascara from Benefit, but this one is right there, it's just easy to access, and this does really build up your lashes, and I'm not gonna be applying falsies. The only thing I have an issue with this is not really the biggest issue in the world, it's just very tough to take off. So make sure you use a waterproof makeup remover on like saturate a cotton pad, soak your eyes, and then wipe it away, because this stuff does not budge, but if you're out in colder weather, you're at the holiday parties, you want a mascara that is going to really do the job and not smudge everywhere, this will absolutely carry you through the whole night. So starting at the base, I'm just gonna wiggle upward and just continue to build. I'm gonna do a couple of coats. I kind of like to go from eye to eye when I do this. Let one eye dry a little bit. This has a rubberized brush so you can really separate. For the lower lashes, a trick that I like to do is to actually wipe the wand on the back of my hand and make sure I don't have any excess on the brush so that I can really wiggle things around, build out the length of those lashes, and not worry about things clumping. Now, if you have an extra 10 seconds and you wanna make this look very holiday, we can quickly strobe the face. I'm gonna take Gilded Honey from Laura Geller and I am just going to hit the high points of my face. Oh my God. I'm feeling such a holiday spirit the second I put this on. Tip of the nose, inner corners right here. You can even get a little bit up on the brow bone. So here's the completed get ready fast holiday makeup look, which really you could use this any day of your life when you want to look a little more glam, but you are short on time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down, talk through makeup tutorial. If you like those, give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.